I have come long and far to tell you of the gaming news. <laughs> hey folks, I'm Shagrim, and this is the screen cap. I'm feeling a lot better, so uh, let's let's just hop let's just hop into it. Let's just jump into it. First off, we're starting off with some big boys. Finally, after a lot of waiting, Valve's Index, their new next-gen VR headset, has finally been announced. Well, it was announced a little earlier because of a leak, but uh, we've got specs, we've got a release date, we've got a price. Uh, this next generation headset fixes a lot of the problems that older VR headsets suffered. Uh, the new controllers are a lot more comfortable and very natural in the hand, and each one contains about 87 sensors so they can translate real world movements accurately in the virtual world. Like you'll be able to move all your individual fingers. That's awesome. So are you, are you sensing that I'm excited that Valve's finally doing something after sitting idly for like years? Great, now just fix the rev split so Epic doesn't keep taking video games away from you. The screen resolution for the Valve Index sits at an insane 1440 by 1600 per eye, which is far higher than the Vive at a measly 1080 by 1200 per eye. Yikes. Uh, the index also has a standard refresh rate of 120 hertz. Yes! And it also offers an experimental 144 hertz option. Yes! Above all that though, they've increased the field of view by 20 degrees over the Vive, which is huge, as well as allowing the user to move the individual lenses to wherever is most comfortable for them. So if you got, if you got an eye that's a little more over here. You can do that. <laughs> but wait, why get excited about a VR headset when there's no games to take advantage of the new features? I'm, gl I'm glad you asked. Valve, come on. But something is in the works because to go along with their spicy new VR headset, Valve is releasing what they call a flagship VR game. We hope it's Half-Life VR, but we don't know. Since it's Valve we're talking about here, there is little info about what the game could be uh, and when it will be released. Valve time and all. But considering the new headset is roughly a thousand dollars, it better be worthwhile to showcase all the hardware's new capabilities. Uh, for the time, all we can really do is wait. It's like RTX all over again. What games are gonna support it? I don't know, it just works. It's magic. It just works. Everything just works. Everything just works. Normally I would have my partner in crime do this part, but since he's not here, I'm gonna do it myself. Oh, what's this? Oh, hey, breaking news. Oh, new Fortnite update today. Wow. Um, supposedly it's gonna have something to do with stealth. I don't know. Uh, download the patch and see it for yourself. Uh, it could be really big. Could be, could be a, a real big update. Uh, so get in there and, and, uh, Get some, get some victory royales for your boy. That's me, I'm your boy. Hey, hey, that's me. Oh no, more Riot Games drama. I don't know why, I don't know why I'm dancing. This is horrible. I just don't really like League of Legends. <laughs> well, let's get into it, I guess. A recent report on Riot Games being sued for gender discrimination. Uh, it seems like a number of employees are organizing a walkout to protest the company's unfair policies towards women. Uh, Riot Games was attempting to prevent its employees from suing the company by having its employees agree to an arbitration clause, basically giving them the precedent to do whatever they want without being scared of a lawsuit from employees. Uh, which is kind of scummy. After this information came to light, it seems that many Riot employees were not on board for that. The walkout is scheduled for May 6th, and the protesters say that they don't feel heard by Riot. The company will open up a dialogue on Monday to invite the rioters to join for a small group session. Oh my god, the rioters. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Riders will be allowed to join a small group session that will allow them to talk about their concerns with the company. I just hope that Riot starts listening to their employees. You know, the people who, you know, make stuff for the company to, to continue functioning. Fix your sh**, Riot. With Minecraft's 10 year anniversary coming up, uh, it's been, t oh my god, it's been 10 years. Oh my god, I'm so old. Microsoft states that Notch, the original creator of Minecraft, will not be included in the upcoming press event due to his notoriety over the past few years of being extremely transphobic and kind of not a cool dude. Microsoft states that Notch's comments and opinions do not reflect the opinions of Mojang or Microsoft. In one of Microsoft's more recent updates, Mojang removed every reference to Notch from the game in order to distance themselves from its previous creator. Uh, which is Hatsune Miku, so I, I don't know I don't know what you're talking about. That's a meme, by the way. I, I, I don't actually believe that. It's, it's, it's just a dumb Twitter joke. Having ever looked at not just Twitter, I completely understand the move, but at the same time, I'm kind of sad that the creator will be excluded from the 10-year anniversary. Even though Notch himself said nothing good has happened to Minecraft in the past year. How about all the updates? 
and all the cool new content. Oh well, shut up, Notch. Uh, <laughs> the anniversary date will be coming this May 17th, uh, so stay tuned for that. Some new information about Super Mario Maker 2 has been released. Yes! A poster has been getting posted in Japanese game stores, which was spotted by Twitter users, and this poster appears to confirm new details about the upcoming Nintendo title. Some of the new information includes Meowser and... Uh, Charvargs being included in this new title. Is that how you pronounce that? Charvargs? It sounds like a pirate term. Avasti Charvargs. Nintendo kind of left us in the dark with what they uh, plan to include feature-wise in this game, uh, other than being able to make Mario levels, except, you know, with more options this time, and on the Switch. They left their fans to pick apart the announcement trailer like Wild Beasts, uh, and pick they did. From just the trailer alone, users have found that there will be a space level theme as well as an 8-bit jungle theme. It also appears that players can spawn in cranes to carry and drop mobs, power-ups, and possibly blocks around the map. Players can also modify the path that the piranha plant can take, which would allow for some interesting interactions, I feel. Uh, but for now, I think that's pretty much everything we know. Uh, we still don't know a whole lot. But here's hoping that Nintendo will reveal some more info before the game's release on June 28th. Oh my god, that's very close! I don't have money for it yet! Uh, you can pre-order the game now and snag some cool rewards for doing so. Pre-order bonuses, I guess, if you- if you wanna- if you wanna keep to- I mean, it's a Nintendo game, so it's gonna be good, but don't support pre-order bonuses that- don't do that. Forget the Sonic movie! Oh my god, script, I wish I could! There's a Saints Row movie in the works now! Uh, what? Oh wait, hold on, wait, what? According to Deadline, a movie adaptation is in the works for the open-world gang violence-filled title with Gary Gray as the director. His past works include Straight Outta Compton, The Fate of the Furious, and Men in Black International. Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of curious to see how this will turn out, because I don't really put a whole lot of faith in movie adaptations of games, but I guess we'll have to see. Please let there not be bad CGI in this one. Also, uh, speaking of bad CGI, we glossed over this a few days ago, and for good reason. We're still in shock from what we had just witnessed. The horrific CGI of the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie uh, will haunt me for years. In case you all haven't seen the new trailer, all I can say is, why? The trailer doesn't even focus on Sonic that much, uh, which... It's kind of weird, considering it's a Sonic movie, but most of the time is spent showing Jim Carrey's Robotnik. <coughs> Man. It's stated that Robotnik is an independent contractor hired by the US military to eliminate Sonic for unknown reasons. Uh, what's most unknown to me is why does it have to be live action? This movie was shot directly in the uncanny valley and I, I don't I don't know what to do about it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been the screen cap every week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. If you want to watch one of our previous videos, in fact, the one that uh, the one that I did about the, the Sonic movie the first time, it's gonna be on the top here and uh, we'll have something else on the bottom. It's a mystery. Woo! A mystery.